Hey, what's up? I'm Remy Warren, Vortex Ambassador. Today I'm sharing with you my rifle for still hunting thick country. Now this is a Sako 85 series Bavarian Carbine in 6.5 by 55 Swede. I've topped it with a Razor HD 1.5 to 8 by 32. So this rifle I use when I'm in still hunting situations where I'm moving through thick country, big timber, it's generally gonna be closer shots, not because the rifle can't handle further shots, but because the rifle is designed for moving through brush and quick acquisition. One thing you'll notice is this beautiful wood stock. There's something about a classic wood stock that I just love the look of. This is a gun that I can pass down to my kids. The stock goes the full length of the barrel, but it's for throwing it up fast, having quick acquisition on your target, and making a good shot. One really cool feature about this is a set trigger. So I can actually push the trigger forward and get half the weight of the trigger pull for that. So if I need to make a precision shot, I have time to line up, I can set the trigger and have a really hair fire trigger. So for the scope on this, I've got a 1.5 to 8 by 32 razor. Now this scope currently isn't available. We'll just call this one a classic, but there's a lot of comparable scopes. So if you need help finding one for your setup, just drop a comment below. I picked this scope because this is my still hunting setup. I might be in really close quarters, so I like that 1.5, I like that low magnification, so when I'm walking around, quick target acquisition if I have something in the brush. Another nice feature about this is it's super simple, but the reticle's just got a single dot in the center, so if I'm shooting at something that's maybe moving through the timber, I've got an easy point of aim. The other thing about this is it's just super clear, super simple, and it's perfect for the still hunting setup. So that was a quick rundown of my still hunting setup. Maybe you've got a classic of your own. If so, drop a comment below if there's a setup you'd like to see on the next episode of Scope This Gun.